All right, I think it's about time for a, uh, a middle shelf or, a, or an average lock. Uh, here we're going to use a, uh, we're going to talk about a Brink, see if we can't pick this thing. Brinks are usually uh, pretty good locks. They're full of uh, security pins. Uh, I think there's about five of them in here. Uh, just to give you an idea, there's no model number on this one. And I wasn't smart enough to write it down when I bought it. But uh, this measure is about 37 or so millimeters uh, across. Not a very big lock. In fact, I call this a medium or even a small lock. Shaped like a master lock, but I mean like a uh, American brand padlock. But it's just a little bit smaller. In fact, just by comparison, here we go. Here's a U.S. Uh, so it's just a little bit smaller. Okay, so what are we looking at here? It's all hardened. It's a pretty good lock. Uh, has a non-removable core, under, unlike the American. And when you see these cores, this is a... In fact, let me, let me go ahead and open it up for you to prove to you it's, it is brand new. Um, here you go. It is a retaining, key retaining format, so you, you can't get the key out until you close it back up. And we're going to do that because we want to pick it. The core does not come out, as I said. We have a choice. Uh, we have two ways we can go here. It is a small keyway, very small. So we're going to need a lot of room just to get our pick in there. And if we fill it up uh, on the bottom we, by putting a bottom of the tension, um, a bottom of the keyway tension wrench, it will do one of two things. It's either going to bind up or it's going to deprive us of that room that we need to work. Now, you can use a bottom of the keyway. If you use the thinnest one, I think I told you in a previous uh, video, the real thin one is rarely used. This is one of those times you might get a chance to use it, but only if you taper the tip of it, as you see here. I took a file to it, and that's so that it won't bind up on the bottom, and it will give us just an extra couple of millimeters of room to work around inside of there. Uh, if you don't like doing that, if you don't like using the bottom of the keyway, you, you do the top of the keyway. But again, because it's this weird miniature uh, Yale, you're going to need to make a... Uh, your own uh, tension wrench and you can make it out of windshield wiper I think I bought make this one out of a piece of tempered steel that I got from I don't know one of the picking kits came and I just bent it myself file it down and now you can see it fits right in there it gives you pretty good tension uh, so you can do it either way it doesn't really matter let's try it with the bottom of the keyway first and if that doesn't work we'll be back and we'll try it again as I said let me show you the bidding uh, here we go not too crazy but because of the small keyway, we're not going to have a lot of room to work around. So, whoops. There we go. Now, we need to first get our fault set. And I'll try to turn this sideways here. Um, because we can't do anything without our fault set. So we're going to put a little tension and we're just going to start moving down the stack to find the binding pin that will give us that. That false set. Come on, baby. I know you're there. I'm going to try to reset. There we go. Maybe I'm... There we go. I think we got it. Let's see. Feels like we got Okay, we got a false set now. You can see it turned just a hair, just enough. So now the fun begins. We've done the hard part. Now let's do the easy part. Now we're just going to move through the stack. We're going to find the binding pins. And it just happens. Feels like the first one. Oops. Turn that sideways so you can see it. Watch the tension wrench. It's doing a little bit of little dance there for us. And I believe it's the last pin. So let's put a little pressure, releasing the tension wrench. And it felt like he popped in. Let's keep moving down the stack. Find the next one. Come on, I know you're there. And it feels, uh, it feels like number four, right above him. So let's give him a shot. Really release tension wrench. And it felt like he went in there. Okay, let's start moving down the stack. Maybe I didn't get him. There, that time he went in for sure. Okay, sorry about that. I thought I got him and I must, the pin must have slipped off. Okay, moving up the stack. You know, I think these might be in order. This one feels like number three now is the one begging. Look at the tension wrench bouncing. He's doing a little dance. 
Let's release a little tension to see if he pops in without dropping any of his brothers. And it felt like he did. Let's keep moving up the stack. Wouldn't it be something if it's pin 2, but I've already passed pin 2. Okay, I'm on pin 1. Let me put this down so you can see. I'm on the first pin now. Push him up. And then we got him. Okay, so unless somebody fell down, we're probably going to find that pin 2 is the one we're looking for. Well, don't think so. Looks like pin 3 again. And there we go, open. So, these brinks, a little bit, they're a lot of fun. A little bit of trouble. Uh, you got to kind of be light on the tension wrench, kind of make them dance in there. But as you see, they're just like all the other high security locks. You, you just get that first pin. You get that false set. You find the normal pin, you punch him home, and then you can begin the dance. And it doesn't matter if he's first in the binding order or not. You can always come back to him later. But that's the key. Get that fault set, and then you can start moving from pin to pin to find the binding one, and just drop them in. And that's why this practice is so key, to find the, the uh, binding pin and then just get your tension just right, and apply tension uh, pressure to that pin, and slide them in there without dropping the rest of the stack. That's the practice part. And once you get that, Brinks and American and all the rest of them, just uh, they become easy for you. So anyway, good luck with it. Hope it didn't waste your time. Everybody be safe, and as always, uh, stay legal. Thanks.